Hi, Broken with Rebels. Welcome to the backline. How was your gig? Very good. It was great. Yeah. Really it was good. Amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. And so where, where did you play earlier? We played at the Jazz Cafe um, at 2 o'clock and it was just it was so good man, it was really rammed, full to the rafters, we loved it, came off was it? Yeah. Is this the first time that you've yeah. played the Camden Rocks Festival? Camden Rocks, yes. Yeah. First, yeah. first time. First of many hopefully. Yeah. And how was it for you? Because obviously Camden Rocks is a newish festival, it started last year, so how was the atmosphere, the vibe? It was brilliant, there was, there was a fantastic buzz in there. The, I'd, I'd personally say it was one of our best gigs so far. Yeah. We had a, a really great crowd, they loved what we were doing and, and we loved them back. So why Broken Wit Rebels? What's with, how did you choose the name? Yeah, I mean, Me and Dan got together and we wanted a band name that nobody else could have because there's so many bands that have similar names and, and things like that. So we, we got a couple of newspapers, cut loads of the headlines out, shuffled the words around and, and that came out in the mix and we loved it. So we just thought, let's, let's run with it. Plus the voices in my head told me to do it. <laughs> Yeah. So how long has the band actually been together? Three years. Yeah, just just about now. And who writes most of the music or the lyrics? Well, Dan does like 95% of the lyrics. Me and James... 100% of the lyrics. Me and James do uh, most of the music. We tend to write the, the bones of a song and then bring it to the other two in rehearsal. Um, and that, that seems to be our formula at the minute. It's working well. And so, you, have you released an album recently? or oh, yes, I released an album uh, called Howling. I think it's five tracks, is it? That's right. Yeah, it's got five, five tracks, tracks yeah. on it. Uh, it's got Shake Me Down on it, which has been our most successful track. Was, was that um, on BBC introducing? Yes, yes, yes. yes it you was, can also yeah. get it on SoundCloud. I think, are we on 100,000? Not quite, it's nearly 100,000. Yeah, nearly 100,000. It's over nine weeks. Yeah, so our, our repeat's on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, all, all the formats, digital formats. And we have hard copies as well. So. so what are the plans for the rest of the year? Are you going to be touring, releasing an album or a new EP? Possibly. We've been in the studio recording some material, but at the moment it's all for industry. They, they've asked for it, so we're sending it to them, so they're, they're not being released as of yet. Um, and we're, we're sort of up in the air at the minute. We don't know quite what's going on. We've got dates between Birmingham and London over the next couple of months. But um, beyond that, we're, we're trying not to look too far ahead at the minute. We so take things as it comes. Yeah. So you're originally from Birmingham. Yes. So how is the scene different in Birmingham and in London? Is there? Do you feel that this, there's a much bigger buzz in London? Music's appreciated here. It seems like everywhere you go, there's something going on. That's no disrespect to our own city because we do have live acts on every week. But it just seems like the scale of things is much bigger, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not that we don't have live gigs on, because we do get big acts there, but just the scale of things, it's, it's the capital of, you know, England. It's going to happen, it's going to be that way. So, what kind of music do you guys listening to, and, and, and does it influence your sound as a band? Absolutely, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm personally, I'm big into. Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin, I love Alabama Shakes, Muddy Waters, it's all that sort of bluesy rock, yeah. you know, and, and that influences me heavily, and, and everybody in the band, we, we've all got influences from the same genres, but different artists, and it, it sort of moulds together, it does influence how we sound, and I, I think it's a really good blend. Yeah. Um, we really look forward to seeing what happens next. You know, hopefully with your stuff that's going out to the industry, something good can happen to it. And uh, I hope that we can have a chat in the future. And it'll all be talking about what you've done and toured and... How much money you making? Oh, how much money you're making, etc. So, thanks very much for coming and having a chat with us. Good luck with everything and uh, enjoy the evening. Okay, thanks.